Yeah, I'm trying to Ubuntu. Trying to Ubuntu. I'm trying to Ubuntu. I'm trying to Ubuntu is everywhere, right? Yeah. Middle school this time. Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to Ubuntu is everywhere, I'm man. Trying to Ubuntu. Uh -huh. I'm trying to Ubuntu everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to Ubuntu yes, everywhere. Exactly. Thanks. Listen, man, I'm Hamish. Uh, thanks a lot for you know for being here. For if you're new to this program, just come right here and subscribe. You know what I'm saying. So we don't want to waste the time. Let's get started. So let's say A. So A this says and B just like how we see. Now let's say sketch and say A and B on a separate number line. So let's start for the first one A and then we go for B. So A this many including. So we're gonna say okay. Let's draw a number line. There's a number line here. So you know how I do most of the time. Okay, let me show you how I do. So negative three, let's assume this is zero. Let's say this is zero, let's assume this is zero. So negative three, let's say this is one, two, negative three. But it's including. When you see this sign here, all these one means including, but these are excluding. So this had a negative three is including. So if it's including, you can just put solid dot. So I can just say solid, and then it goes all the way, excuse me, to positive four. So positive four, if this is zero, let's say one, two, three. Four. Let's see, let's see it's there, but it's excluding. So excluding means you do something like this. So this one here, you connect. This is A. Start from, you say here negative, three, two, positive, four, but excluding. Now we go for B. B is start from negative four to two, and then three, and all. So it's start from negative four. So I'm going to say, okay, let me draw the line like this. That's will B. Okay. So if this is zero, let's say so negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four here, but it's including excluding. So this is head builder notation. And this is interval notation, means you only represent only the interval, but this you see this is a kind of builders. So start from negative four, start from negative four, this is excluding. If you see this, means excluding, or you see this excluding, but this is including and this is including. This is less or equal, this is greater or equal. This is just less than and or greater than. Okay, so start from negative 4, excluding. Negative 4, excluding means something like this. And then go all the way to 2, including. Okay, we say this is 0. I say 1, 2, somewhere here. But uh, including or something like this. So this is negative 4, and this is 2, including. But we're not done yet. And they say they start from 3, all the way to plus infinity. So this is, let's say, 3. So start from 3, 3 excluding, so it's like this. And then you go all the way to positive infinity. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So this part here, all of them together, these and these, they give us B. But at this part here, this one, you start from negative 4, all the way to, oh, negative 4 excluding, sorry. Let me use the other color so it can make a lot of sense because I don't want to mess up there and it look daddy. It's not good. Let me use the other color. So I'm going to say negative 4. By negative 4, excluding. And then we say x all the way to 2. So, and then this one also still continue. Start from this is x. 3 times equal to 3. So all these together, they give us B. So this is B. Now, what do you want? They say determine A union B. So union means like, pull them together. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to pull all these together and get A union B. Okay. So A union B, if I'm going to bind all these together, look. How this look? So the initial point is going to be start from, look. Mm. All together. Okay, so... So now, so this is a separate line, you can see. So this is for A. A. But this is for B, separate number line. Uh, so this is 1.1. .1. Now we go for 1.2. This amount A union B. So A union B, I'm going to say, let's use the color, for example. A union B. So we're going to, uh, like uh, squeeze them together, bind them together, and then you know, initial point is going to be start from negative 4 but are excluding, and they go all the way, you know what I'm saying? Okay, 
there's a gap here but this one is going to cover it you know why because we put them together even though there's a gap but if you bind together this is going to cover here so we go all the way even here there's a excluding but it's going to cover all of it and it's going to go all the way from here all the way for every point no stopping because even this one start from three to pass infinity mean this three continue all the way <laughs> you know what i'm saying so now if i start from negative four excluding i'm gonna go i'm not gonna stop say, what about here no but even here there's a gap but this one you kind of cover it there we go why this one stop yeah this one stop but this continue because we put them all together okay let's see so now for that case now a unit b a unit b is gonna be so it depends they say you write your answer in interval notation so your interval notation you see what i did here this is this is an easy way even they say interval notation but in my opinion i'm gonna draw number line and they'll write the interval notation even though they didn't ask me for number line so a and b they say interval notation so i'm gonna say what is the starting point starting point you got negative four but it's excluding you know what i'm saying it's excluding so i'll say excluding negative four and then what is our final point our final point is we don't know where it's going to stop, so you write like this, infinity. But infinity means since you don't know where it's going to stop, you just write like that. You know what I'm saying? But they might say, okay, write it. Okay, so the equation is done because they ask for interval notation. But if they ask for set builder notation, sometimes they might ask you, write in set builder notation. So that's not part of the question, but I can just write for fun. So for set builder notation, the same answer, but I said builder notation, builder notation. I could have written like this, I say, okay, so A and B equal to, curly bracket, something like that. X are element of ring number, but this X is start from negative 4 all the way to positive infinity. So, I'll say X greater or is more than 4. And then close. Or, if you want to write like this, you can write X are element of ring number, and they say this X is start from 4, but excluding and the right here x but to post infinity so eight of the other is going to work if the ask for say to be notation now let's go for the last one they say to mind a intersection b so we want to see where they're going to intersect when you say intersect means like if uh, where they have things in common like if i can put these together <coughs> where they're going to have in common okay let's start from here there's something here to three but there's nothing here so they don't have anything in common but aside from negative three yes they have something in common means from negative 3 also here it kind of there's something lie on this line so start from negative 3 all the way they have a common until positive 2 see positive 2 here also positive 2 the line lie on it so start from negative 4 to positive 2 for so long they say write in set builder notation so 1.3 so I'll say oh so I'll say uh, A in a section B in a section B equal x excuse me x are element of ring number okay and the way it's going to start it's going to start from because they put them together it's going to start from negative three in set build notation then negative three but it's going to be including because there's something here and also there's something here so including negative three all the way now we go all the way to two that's the last point here but it's including so it's going to go because here there's a something and there's something. Now, two. But we want to check here. Are they going to include again? Are they going to intersect again? They have something common? Oh, yes. In four, look, this is zero, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to write like this. Now I'm saying this going to make a lot of sense. Three, okay, let's see. Zero, and put like this. Zero, zero. This number here, okay, zero, zero. One, one, and put like this. 2, 2, so it makes a lot of sense. 3, 3, and this is 4. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, my, my line was not line up. So now we go all the way, start from negative 3, negative 3, all the way to 2. Yes, they have something common. Like this is 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. They have something common, 2. And then we come here. There is something, but here is gap. So we, they don't have anything common, means they cannot intersect. But starting from from three, you see, and three here, yes, they have something common. So we're gonna say all this, and they can see all. You know what I'm saying? We say all x 
cut again in x3 mix x start from 3 because 3 here but the problem is okay am I going to say including or excluding because this is excluding this is including so in logics you know there's something whenever you have a true and false you say false you know what I'm saying if there's a truth and false you say false so if there's a on and off in other words this is including this is excluding so we're going to take excluding only this including and excluding and then how far? Oh, the last point is going to be 4. So we're going to say x. The last point is going to be 4. And why do I say excluding? Because even this one here is excluding, but this is including. And just like I was saying, if you have including, excluding, take excluding. So this is going to be my last point. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to be said builder notation. It's just a waste of time. When you do this question, and it's easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and, you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time, you know. Subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people, you know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can, okay? It's not only for one page or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page, go to our uh, GoFundMe, because we need to have a you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace and out. Bye. You know, this is one of my students of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. Yeah. Uh, yeah, try to abide to me. Try to abide. Try to abide just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, so try to abide just everywhere, man. Try to abide to everywhere. Try to abide to everywhere. Everywhere. Huh? John exactly. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, man, which advice would you give uh, to the people? Trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I read it first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's mm. the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy.